Good morning, everyone. Oh, <coughs> someone's got a croaky voice this morning. Um, so I am going to be taking over this account all day, all day today. Um, so you'll get a little sneak peek into my life. And also, I can answer any questions that you have about Thespi, about the shows we've got coming up, about anything you want, really. But uh, I need to uh, feed, the, feed the dogs. Should we get some food? Should we get some food? Mm-hmm. Oh, hello everybody. Um, so I had a funny question. Well, the question was from Jesse. Um, what is the funniest thing that happened during like rehearsals? I'm just feeding the dogs. During rehearsals for Girl Power. And let me tell you, it was a long answer. So I thought I would uh, go live and tell you. So <laughs> get down, please. Get down. So. We were rehearsing, well, no, sorry. We were filming Girl Power. Filming Girl Power, having a lovely old time. And uh, we'd just done our opening number, which you'll find out what that is very soon. A um, couple of people were guessing. No one got the guess right. So um, that'll be a nice little surprise. But so we just did our opening number. And um, then we were like introducing the show you know, introducing everybody and welcome everybody and that sort of stuff. And I went over to grab one of the chairs because our next number was sat on a chair and I slipped, everybody. Now, I say slipped because that, uh, that's, that's not what happens. I <laughs> lost the will to stand, everybody. And I fell under the chair as I did so, I smashed my face on the chair, on said chair, and um, completely knocked myself out, everyone. Uh, it was very, very dramatic in true uh, Amy Atkinson style. And um, I don't know how long I was gone for, but a while. I went over to the dark side, everyone. Went over to the dark side. Um, you will not see that uh, in the show tomorrow. We are uh, very, we had to edit that bit out. Um, but that was kind of funny. Well, it's funny now. When you look back at it, it's funny now. Um, so that happened. Um, anything else that happened? Just all the general lulls, really, of working with the girls is just always amazing and um, always just such a giggle. We have the best time together. Um, I've actually just watched um, the show all the way through. So I had a little look. I love that my hair is just jamming in the dog food right now. Um, and it's amazing! if I don't say so myself um no it's all right okay I'm feeding you okay I need to feed dogs I need to feed dogs but it's great it's so good and yeah I hope you all feel really inspired by it like we just want to everything that we do we want to make you know inclusive for everybody and you know it's it's just an absolute joy and I hope it brings joy to all of you as well. Um, so if you haven't got your ticket yet for Girl Power, which is on tomorrow, tomorrow, um, get your ticket now. Uh, the link is in Thespi's bio or it's in, uh, I mean, it's all over my Instagram. Let's be honest. I never stopped talking about it. But I just thought I would share that little story with you. I will go live again at some point today. So keep your eyes peeled. But if you have any questions about Thespi, about what we're doing, about stuff that's coming up, about any of our shows that we're doing, um, or just general chit chat. I'm here all day, ladies and gentlemen. I am here all day. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd tell you that little story. There you go. One day, if I'm brave enough, because there is footage, I will show you all the footage. But uh, it's quite embarrassing, so maybe not anytime soon. Um, but yes, I hope, uh, I hope you have a good day. And um, yeah, stay tuned with me. I'm here with the dogs. I'm going to feed them now. There's lovely food. Um, and uh, yeah. Have a great day, everyone. <gasps> to show you this, because no, Roxy, this is what we've been working on. Sit. Okay. She's still not really mastering it. Paw. Paw. Where's your paw? Paw. That's it. Good girl. Now, come on, we can do this. Lay down. Roxy. Lay down. Roxy. Lay down. 
Ready? You're gonna go lay down. <gasps> Good girl. Go on in. Good girl. Oh, it's fabulous. Um, we've known each other for a long time, obviously. So now to be actually working together in a team is just, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. No, she's uh, she's wonderful and hashtag dream team. Hello all, I thought I'd come back. You know what's really annoying? Is when you get the questions on um, Thespy, you have to do it in like 15 seconds, don't you? And it's just not enough. Annie, it was actually your question that I was trying to answer and I couldn't answer it in 15 seconds. So I thought I'd come on and talk to you instead. Why well, I'm just putting on my moisturiser. Um, I was just cleaning the bathroom as well. It's a very glamorous day. Um, so Annie asked... Um, what is a, a creative producer? And she said, sorry if I'm being, uh, I think she used the word dumb and you're not dumb, Annie, you are not dumb um, because it's a very good question. Um, so being a producer and being a creative producer, good look, right, um, can mean so many different things. Um, I mean, for me with Thespi, um, how it all sort of happened for me was we did the reunion so when we put on the reunion we um worked with thespy to uh you know help us produce it and help us you know with all of that while we were doing all the creative stuff in the studio and um you know rehearsing and all that sort of stuff um so that happened and it was so amazing, like the whole experience of the reunion and you know not only just getting back together with the girls but the whole creative process as well, you know, putting on a show together and working with Thespi to put on this show was just so exciting. And also, you know, add on to that, you know, we're in a we're in a uh, a pandemic and all of that sort of stuff. So it meant even more. Anyway, so that happened, and then Tyler, who runs Thespi, uh, contacted me about coming on board with Thespi and doing some more, you know, some more shows as creative producer so for me um my day is kind of it's a lot of emails everybody it's a lot of emails um but when it comes to the show being like creative and that sort of stuff you know we've done all the arrangements of the songs with the wonderful natalie paris everyone we're literally the uh, arranging duo um casting the shows um you know, sort of logistics, it's a lot of logistics, it's a lot of getting people to places at certain times, um, but also, you know, creating ideas, coming up with plans, business plans, um, you know, there's lots of different things, but it can mean anything, and it sounds glamorous, but it's really not, it's a lot of rushing around, it's a lot of trying to organise a thousand people, um, and uh, yeah, but it is a lot of fun as well, it is a lot of fun, and what the most, like, amazing thing about it is, when you've created a show and you see the show like tomorrow, you know, we'll, I'll sit down, I'll watch Girl Power and just to think, wow, I mean, I'm in Girl, girl Power, but if I wasn't, um, it would be like, wow, you know, we've done that, Thespi's done that, we've organised this and we've done this and we've put these people together and we've, you know, we've made something magical happen. And I mean, that's amazing at the best of times, but especially with a pandemic going on and especially with the state of the industry as it is to just be doing anything and doing it I hope well um is an amazing thing to be a part of and I keep saying the same thing in you know interviews and stuff but it really is like one of my greatest achievements to be helping people in this time um creating work for not only performers but also technical teams and and you know, staff. So it's it's wonderful to be a part of. Um, and I hope you're all enjoying the shows. <gasps> what shows have you been watching? I mean, I know some of you obviously watched the reunion because I, I know I know a few people on, on this live. But um, what else have you been watching? How has it been going? I want to ask, que like, ask questions on here only because I talk too much. So the answers are never uh, short enough for me to get it in 15 seconds. Um, I'm going to have a look at the questions. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to do this because that's hilarious. If you could pay £100 for a lifetime supply of Larabars, would you pay it? Yeah, totally. The reason I got into Larabars is because me and Helen went to Women's Health um, and I won a competition and I won like a month. This is when I was in six. I won a month's supply of Larabars and I was... 
eating eating a lobster um and then i was absolutely hooked um but yes i would totally pay 100 pound for a lara bar <laughs> great question um <clears throat> How many dogs do you think you'll have in five years? I'm, li- I'm going to cap it at three, guys, because it's a lot of work. I mean, I think you've probably seen a lot of my videos in the morning, but um, it's a full-time job, you know? It's full-time. So I don't know if I could... I would love to have all the dogs. I would love to just open a dog sanctuary and then that's me done. But um, as for, like now living my life how it is now I don't think I could uh deal with any more dogs as much as I'd really really want to um yeah uh what else have we got <laughs> how excited are you for girl power listen it's palpable I'm very excited because we just oh I mean the the reunion was incredible because it was our first show together since we'd done six and we honestly we've been talking about it for nearly three years how we wanted to do something together we wanted to um you know me and Lex joke but we wanted to put the band together um so the reunion was like so special um but I feel I feel like girl power we've just put so much work into it like me and natalie were like all the harmonies we've definitely done more like harmony work and arrangements um and um millie and jay jj have been doing you know all the choreography so excuse me what is this about they're gonna kick off now i can sense it look oh okay now it's peaceful peaceful Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah we just put so much work and rehearsals and time and um, yeah it's great as I said I watched it I've, I've seen it I've not seen like the final final edit but I've seen magic oh, this, this is my life Oh, I left you for a second then, bad connection. Excuse me. This is, um, they always have like a funny half an hour in the morning and this is it, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm very, 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 very excited. Sorry, that was again a long, long answer to quite a simple question. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited for you to watch it and hopefully feel uh inspired by it and i feel like you get to know us a bit more in this one which is really cool um so yeah hopefully you enjoy it girls <laughs> where will the doggies go when theaters go back and you and gribby are working well i'm very lucky that um i'm allowed to bring the dogs to work so um come on girls you want to come up do you want to come up? Come then, let me put the trash out. Um, yeah, I'm very lucky that I'm allowed to bring the dogs to work. So, mostly they'll come with me, apart from I don't like to bring them on double show days because um, it's not very nice for them to be ooh, stuck, do you know what I mean, in the theatre for that amount of time. So, sometimes, well, if Gribby's around, they'll go to Gribby. Or, um, someone shouting at me then. Or, um, my lovely friends. And I have a lovely friend who lives around the corner from me. Oh, who, who looks after the girls when we're working. So, um, yeah, that's what will happen. But as you know, I just, I love to have them around me all the time. Here they are. They never leave my side, do you? Um, so yeah, I try and keep them with me as much as possible. Because, you know, why get dogs if you're going to give them to other people? I want to be with them all the time. Um, thank you for that question. What was it like going back to watch Six? It was, like, really cool and also really weird. Because I couldn't... It's been, it's been quite a while. And I feel like so much has happened. Not only with you know, everything that's going on globally, but just with me, like, I feel like I've 
like lived a whole other lifetime since since that. So I was watching it and like, oh my god! And I could I knew what they were thinking at certain points. Like I knew I knew all of that. You know the journey of like, oh, you're thinking now, right now it's this. No, 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 no. This is where I can drink a bit of water. This is you know all these sorts of things go through your head. So it was weird to watch it and be like because it was a massive part of my life. And as I always say, it completely changed my life. Um, so, magic. What is it? It's okay. Um, so to sit and watch it was such a surreal experience. Like, I loved it. I loved it. Girls, it's okay. Oh, it's all right. Sit down. It's okay. Sit Good girl. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> oh, look at this. Are you comfy? Are you comfy there? Yeah, so I, I, I loved it. And it's it's very... Not different. It's not, like, hugely different since I did it. But, like, it's just bigger and fancier. They've got all the lovely costumes now. And they've got a beautiful set. I think it's the Broadway set or it's come over from America. Anyway, it looks stunning. And, obviously, I saw it at... Um, the Lyric? Yeah, the Lyric. Um... So it's just a different energy, isn't it? Because it's a bigger theatre, it's all, like, fancy. Um, but I had an amazing time. I really did. It was quite emotional, actually. Um, just because of everything that's happening. To see theatre and to see something like Six, which is so, you know, empowering. And you come out feeling amazing and strong and confident. Like, it's an amazing thing. I'm really, I'm not going to lie, I'm very, very sad that it's had to stop again. Um... I feel so sad for them. And it the, and I know I mean I know they're fine, I know it's the best thing to do and all of that, but on like a personal level I just feel like so difficult because they've been championing and I mean like, you know, Kenny Wax and Andy and Wendy and all the producers have been such amazing champions of theatre in this time and they've had so many knockbacks. I feel like I don't think I'm wrong in saying this, but I feel like they've had probably the most because they've just been at the forefront of everything trying to get things back on again and then it not happening trying to do the drive in and didn't happen did the tour not happen they've opened the west they opened the west end now it's closed so I feel like um I just really feel for them and obviously because I know them all as well it's just like oh it really really hurts um but of course it will be back of course it will um it's only a matter of time and everything will be okay again but yeah. Anyway, that again, long answer. See, I can't do the the uh, the answer thing where it's in the in the uh, fifteen second. What are you doing? No, no. It's not enough time for my brain to compute the answers. Um, what songs are you singing in Girl Power? Well, I feel like I'll just leave it as a um, as a surprise because. Um, yeah, but we just wanted to sing songs from people that inspire us. Um, and, you know, girl power, it's a thing. Do you know what I mean? It's totally a thing. And that's what we're about. I mean, the Spice Girls started it, but, you know, we want to continue doing that and inspire, inspiring people with music because I think music is an amazing universal thing that it doesn't matter where you're from, um, you know, what language you speak, any, any of these things, um, different backgrounds, music can connect us all. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to tell you, it's a surprise. But, I mean, there's obviously been some cheeky little things that you can probably tell what a few of the songs are. Um, but more importantly... Hello, Magic. Um, anyway, I'm not going to say anymore. I'm not going to say anymore. I was going to tell you something else, but I'm not going to say. Just um, get your tickets, guys. It's tomorrow. It is tomorrow. What are you doing? Honestly. Dogs. Dogs everywhere. Um... Do, 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 do. Uh, ah, this is such a good question. How has being in seven tightened the bond of you guys from being in six? I was saying to Helen, uh, my best mate, and John Deep uh, and Shiraz, my friends, I was saying, it's amazing because this probably wouldn't have happened if we hadn't have had a pandemic, if we hadn't been in lockdown, because we, we were so busy. Um, rushing around, you know, Lex and Jay and Nat were in six. They were on a, you know, the, you know that the schedule of six is crazy. Um, 
and you know I was in Pretty Woman so my life was just like an absolute whirlwind Millie was what's Millie doing I know she's doing she's doing Be More Chill yeah she's doing Be More Chill um and she was just doing a thousand things um what was Maya doing Maya was doing all the concerts all the shows I mean I'm basically what I'm saying is we were just crazy busy it sounds stupid, doesn't it, that you're like you're that you're too busy to do something like this, which was so amazing. But it's true, like life just takes over and as much as we really wanted to make this happen, trying to get seven people. Oh and Gracie, of course, Gracie was out and Juliet, like she was mental. So trying to get seven people together was just like impossible i mean i'm sure you know what it's like like when you're trying to get all your friends together and like can't do this time can't do that date and you end up going oh i can't bother it um, so what i'm saying is it was a miracle that we were all free so i was sitting in i don't know here probably sitting right here because i sit here a lot with magoo i was thinking oh i just really want to do something with the girls um Thespi had come to me about doing my own show so we're talking about doing my own show and kind of you know being like actually having a live audience but small audience and really safe and I sat and I thought one you know honestly I thought no one's gonna come see me in a show um but my other thought was I want to do something with the girls um we've been talking about it for years you know I'm just gonna put it out there see if they're free and so I wrote like the longest essay WhatsApp message just going, I've had this idea, what do you think? Blah, 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 we could do blah, blah. And they were all like, yeah, absolutely. Buzzing, we're in. And that was how it happened. Um, sorry, that's not even the answer to the question. See what I mean? Um, so, so we did the, obviously the reunion. And we did, we got, so, we got really close. I mean, we were always close, but in the arts theatre, we have... Rocks, don't, don't, come here, come here, come here, what's this, come, you've ruined my throw as well, you've been eating it so I can see, um, in the arts theatre, there's two dressing rooms, obviously it's quite small backstage, so there's two rooms, so I was with, well it started with Nat and Maya, um, and then we got Colette, and then we had Shaka for a bit as well, and then the other room was Grace, Millie, JJ, Lex. Yeah, and then they had Courtney and Vicky. Um, so it, we were like, you come in, obviously you'd say hi, we'd have a laugh and stuff, and then you'd go and do the show. And the show is so intense, especially on like a double show day, you'd just like get your head down, do it. And we were never like, obviously on tour, we'd go out, we'd have a laugh, you know, we experienced all of that together. But when we got to the arts, it became like, oh, it was so intense that we'd just do the show and go home. Rocks. Like obviously Lex travels from Birmingham every day. Every day. She's a legend. Um and people just go home. So doing um, you know, forming seven, doing the reunion, all of that sort of stuff, we really did become even closer, which you would think is impossible because we always said, you know, we are like sisters anyway. The things that we've gone through and, and what we experienced, um they're more than my friends. Do you know what I mean? They are my family. So I didn't think we could get any closer, but we really have. And it's been amazing. And even during girl power and stuff, we've got even closer. And all the other things that are happening with us, which you will find out very soon, I'm sure. Um, it really has bonded us even more, which I did think was possible. Again, longest answer to the question. I'm so sorry. And really, I'm supposed to be doing work. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll answer a few more questions, won't we, Magoo? Um... Let me have a look. Thank you. Come here. Just chill out, babe. Sit down. I'll take you out in a bit. Yeah. Um, right, let's do another question. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the questions. <laughs> Will Girl Power be available for 72 hours? I've been put on a late shift, so I can't watch at eight. You can watch... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I believe, I believe, I will check, but I believe you can watch it until Sunday, anytime. And I believe you can even watch it more than once, I believe. I mean, I should know this, shouldn't I? Um, so don't worry if you've got your shift at eight. I'm, I can't watch it at eight either. 
so I'm going to be watching it a little bit after eight. So after eight, like the chocolates. Um, so yeah, I'll check that. But I believe that's right. Okay, one more question because then I must do some actual work because uh, Nikki, if you're watching, I'm on it. Don't you worry. Um, which two dogs get on the best? Lol. Um, I don't know, you know. I actually don't know. Wolfie's very independent. Magic and Roxy have a good old time. They're always having a, a play fight. Um, oh, that's such a tough question. It's a, it's a trio. It's a trio of fun. Um, when did you decide to do girl power after the reunion? Um, we just didn't want it to end. So we did the three shows at Oval Space and... Um, you know, all the rehearsals leading up to that. I mean, I say rehearsal, it was Zoom. Love love Zoom, live my life on Zoom now. Zoom rehearsals. Um, lol, lol to the Zoom rehearsal. You're like, what foot is it? Is it the right foot or the left foot? What are, it's just an absolute nightmare. It's not like the real fit thing, let's be honest. Uh, as amazing as Zoom is, nothing can beat, you know, in person. Um, so we didn't want it to end. It was like, it was so much fun. And I know a lot of you were there, so you know, like, it was just great. We loved it. We loved being together, spending all that time together. We didn't want it to end. Um, I obviously started working full time for Thespi. We were starting to do our Reunited series, which was, you know, we did Oops, I Streamed It Again. We did um, Unlimited, the songs of Schwartz, Stephen Schwartz. And it was a no-brainer that we wanted to do something. We wanted to do something where you kind of, hello, baby, you get to know us. I mean, I know you know us, but, like, a, you get to know us as a, like a, as a group. As a group. Um, more. Um, and I think what was amazing is um, we got all the comments that you guys sent in after uh, the reunion. And a lot of them were from people that were saying, you know, they were having a hard time. It really lifted their spirits. Um, you know, some of the, the things that we were talking about in the reunion, uh, about our lives and about things that we'd gone through had really like touched a lot of people. And we just thought, hang on a second. You know, we want to do more of that. That's what, you know, we'd like to think we're all about is, I hate to use the word empower because I feel like it's used too much and it's lost its meaning. But when I say it, I really mean it, that we want to empower, empower not just women. I mean, I know it's a girl power show, but girl power isn't just about women. You know, it's about everybody, anybody who feels like, um, you know, a bit of the underdog or, you know, is having a difficult time to in inspire them and empower them. That's what we want to do. Um, so, yeah, it was... We just didn't want it to end and we wanted to continue doing what we were doing, basically. Um, mm, 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 mm. Funniest lockdown story. Oh, God. I've got so many. Some that I couldn't possibly tell you because it's, not, a, it's not, not what you should be saying on a Thespi Live. Um, <laughs> but um, funniest story. Oh, so many things. I feel like me and Gribby, he's not here at the moment. He's gone to see, um, gone to see his family. Um, but, um, I think <sighs> we've had a laugh. We've had such a laugh, honestly. And we were all, we were like close, but I think lockdown and, and just all of that stuff is, um, it's got us, we're just so much closer. Are, are you crying? What are you crying at? Um, and we just had a real, real laugh. Like obviously doing the dance classes, the musical a thon. I trekked across the the UK. Um, you know, just so many things. Um, I'm trying to think of one specific really funny lockdown story. Um, I can't think of one. I mean, me and Gribby got told off a lot. This is a hilarious story. You know, when we first started in lockdown, you could only go out for an hour to exercise. So me and Gribby would take the old yoga mats, which are down on the couch, and we'd go to the park with the dogs, and we'd run around the park and the dogs, well, Roxy wasn't with us at that point, but Magic and Wolfie, they'd run, so we'd run around, do about eight laps of the park. Um, and then we'd sit down and we'd put on our phone, this woman, 
who does like ab workouts and you know workouts online and we put her on it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay um we put her on and we do like sit-ups and whatever anyway so we're mid sit-up we're mid crunch and these women and a man come up to us who are like patrolling the park it was their job to patrol the park and they were like we've been watching you from our van while we had our lunch you've not been doing any exercise and i mean we literally ran around the park eight times we were covered in sweat and we were mid sit up and i was like are you are you all right can you not and the, the video is playing with the workout on people with the workout on she is going hi guys so you know just do it. anyway what she's doing and i was like are you all right we're, what are, we're on a yoga mat what do you think we're doing and they were like you've been sunbathing That was quite funny because what I hate most in life is the job's worth. Do you know what I mean? It's the job's worth. It's the uh, people with a little bit of authority that want to wave their authority around. Um, anyway, that was quite amusing. That's where the term have a day off Susan was kind of born, if anyone knows what that is. I know there's a few things going in the comments, but for people who don't know, there's this amazing, I think it's a meme, I don't know, meme gif. Who knows? I'm too old to know what's what. But, um, of, um, oh, what's her name? Stacey Solomon. She's in the bath. She's got a glass of wine on. And she's going, have a day off, Susan. For crying out loud, have a day off. And I, we just found it so funny. And you can use it in any scenario. The people in the park telling us off for sunbathing, even though we were mid-sit-up, is one of them. Um, feel free to use it whenever you need. It's, it's amazing. Um, guys, I really actually have to do some work. Um, <laughs> so I should go do some work. I need to take the dogs out. Yeah, Nikki, if you're watching, I'm on it. I've got a few bits and bobs that I need to do. Um, yeah, I'll go on live a bit later to answer more questions. I mean, keep asking them in the the insta story question thing and i will do my best to answer them in 15 seconds i'll just maybe i'll just speak really really quickly um yeah stay tuned i feel like i've just ranted at you for however long this went on for i'm so sorry um yeah see you in a bit guys i just had to put that clip on of natalie paris has anyone else just watched that on repeat I'm not ashamed to say it, Natalie. Such a good question. Um, I think I'm most looking forward to like seeing everybody again, being back in the theatre, seeing my friends, and just living life to the full. Actually, thinking about this last night, so weird. And I was thinking they should make Miss Congeniality into a musical because I love Sandra Bullock and. Um, It'll just be it's funny this is the type of question that i cannot answer in 15 seconds but my favorite band aerosmith would be headlining with like little mix blackpink nao ah, someone else food trucks just all the food i think my favorite show i've ever done i mean it's, it's a tough one but i think it would be in the heights because it was the first musical i did after like being away from shows for so long and it just it was so much fun I loved that. That is also a very tough question. But I mean, I can't go back as an absolute power anthem. Oh, ah, never give up on a dream because it's got such a good message and anywhere but here because, yeah, it's just great. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, any sort of education and furthering your skills um, is, is only going to be good and worthwhile. In suffices in what way i guess would be the question because like i said anything you do that you know is going to help you um further your your skill your toolbox uh, as it were is only going to be valuable i would pick either new york or italy uh, like amalfi coast in italy those are my two favorite places um i loved to draw and paint Allah, there you go. Uh, and I also loved badminton. Like, I was obsessed with badminton. I really kind of wanted to go into that, but I chose acting and singing and dancing and singing. Yeah, 
yes, I love improv. It's one of my favorite things. Um, and it kind of scares me, but I love it. I love that feeling. Um, yeah, I want to do more. Oh my gosh, too many, too many. Um, probably J-Lo though, because she's just insane. Ah, uh, yeah, J-Lo. So I think my favorite Christmas film, so cliche, isn't it? But it's The Holiday. Just think, it's just beautiful. Oh gosh, um, maybe just having more time to think. <sighs> Like, I never really did a lot of thinking. I just did a lot of doing and rushing around. So, oh, hello. Um, it's been nice to have more time to myself. I did, I did love the pink hair. I felt really cool. Um, I mean, you never say never. This is going to sound like I'm super obsessed with Natalie Paris, isn't it? But this is my favourite Christmas decoration. It's from Natalie P. She gave me it when I left. Six de musical. Um, and now it's on the tree. Look, this is my tree. <sighs> Anyone who knows me knows I love anything sparkly. So here it is, gang. Sparkly tree. What's your favourite thespy show that you've watched so far? Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry. I was uh, doing some actual work. Um, my favourite part with being with the girls is just we have such a giggle. We have such a laugh. Um, yeah, we never stop laughing. Oh, you're right, you've got me. Natalie Paris, I'm obsessed with you. Yes, um, I cannot wait for everyone to watch the show. Like I keep saying, it's just, it was a labour of love. And um, yeah, we cannot wait for you to see it. And um, yeah, let us know what you think. Hello everyone. I'm so sorry I haven't been around. I was actually doing some work um i thought i'd come on live hello annie hi um and because i got a really good question from hey molly from charlotte saying and again because i cannot explain myself quick enough for the old uh insta story i thought i would do this instead and then you guys can ask questions if you like in the little you know question thing down there um but she asked what kind of uh roles and like jobs and things do you have to do as creative producer of thespy so today i can just tell you what i was doing today so today i'm currently on my laptop which is behind my phone um looking through some photos to pick uh some photos for a press release that is going out I was also speaking to some uh, producers of some shows and uh, getting their opinions on things that we're doing. Um, I've also been sending invoices today. And um, what else? Yes. I mean, it's just it's a lot of emailing, guys. A lot of emailing, a lot of phone calls. Uh, I mean, obviously, if we could all get together and, and do that sort of stuff, we'd be having more meetings, but it's all online at the moment. Oh, um, so yeah, every single day is different, which is amazing, and that's what makes it so exciting and so much fun. Um, but it can be anything from, you know, arranging a song to, you know, rehearsing people uh, to, um, you know, just making things happen. I feel like a producer's job is to make things happen in the easiest, most effective way. Um, and that, uh, that is what I've been doing. Uh, I was also doing some interviews today. So we had some interviews happening. So I was doing that. Um, hi, see what these questions are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, people are, um, saying what their favorite show was that thespia have done a lot of people are saying the reunion oh oops i streamed it again it was great it was great i loved it it was such a good show um yeah and amazing to be involved in it and to get that incredible lineup back together was was really really cool um yeah if you have any questions put them in the question oh look wait there i'm not keeping up with the old chat mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, oh 
they're saying that you didn't <laughs> you love my shirt thank you so much it's actually a co-ord i'm very into the old co-ords right now so it's got a matching bottom uh my mum just said are you wearing pajamas it's like no mum it's it's lounge wear um <laughs> um but yeah oh look we've got some questions oh okay good question from Paige. If you could choose a place to perform with the girls, like a venue, where would it be and why? Mm. I mean, <laughs> Wembley Arena, is that okay? Um, yeah, O2. <laughs> so many places. Carnegie Hall, um, <laughs> Royal Albert Hall, yes, sure. I mean, we performed at Royal Albert Hall, obviously, with um, with Six when we did the Olivier's, but it would be really cool to perform there again uh, as a group. That would be awesome. Um, but very... Come to Canada. I would really like to come to Canada. I think if I came to Canada, I wouldn't come back. I think it, it sounds and seems like my kind of place. Um, let me see what other questions we've got. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, thank you. Um, apparently, I'm Delilah. Thank you. She gave me. She? Yes, yeah, she gave me a compliment about my hair. Have you seen the prom yet? Yeah. I loved it. I actually cried. And I always say this I go, you know, I'm not the kind of person who cries, but I think maybe I'm turning into that person because I cried, guys. It was a thing. And not even at the sad bits, at like the, the happy... I happy cry a lot. I'm a happy crier. I very rarely cry because things are sad. I cry because I'm like, I love life so much and it makes me so happy. Um, that's the kind of crier I am, happy crier. Um, what else we got? Uh, what is your favourite girl band? Blackpink? Anyone know Blackpink? Obsessed. I mean, Little Mix is definitely up there as well, but... I'm going to say it, Blackpink is my favourite girl band. Absolutely obsessed. Um, How come the shows are filmed versus live? I mean, we would love to do some live shows, but we're not allowed to at the moment because of um, government guidelines. So, um, you know, we've been trying to do our best to keep bringing theatre to audiences. Um, but at the moment, the only way we can do that safely um, and within the government guidelines is to stream shows and film them. But, I mean, it's an amazing thing to be a part of because, um, you know, we live in a world that is so technology-based now and everything's online. Um, and obviously sometimes, you know, before the pandemic and stuff, theatre was available online. Not everything, but, like, some some shows were available online so it's amazing to be bringing theatre to people that you know might not have uh, been able to see it so like the reunion um a lot of our audiences are from other countries not just from the uk so they might not have been able to if it wasn't streamed online they might not have been able to see the show so it's amazing that thespy um can do that and just bring you know really cool amazing theatre into your home um but obviously when we can go back to live theatre and um you know theatre's back again of course we will do things live um where where it's safe you know what else have we got in the old question box let's have a look um what have you what have you that um one sec what have you the idea to form seven with the girls? I think what what gave you the idea to form seven with the girls? Um, well, I've said this before, but we've always wanted to do something. Like, we, since being in six, we used to be like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so cool if like we could, um, you know, be in a girl band and travel the world together and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And we always said it and, not that we were joking, we weren't joking, we were deadly serious, but we just never had the time to do anything because we were in six and we were always really busy um, and it never happened. But it's happening, guys. Seven is a thing. Um, 
So, yeah, it's all really, really exciting. But I can't possibly tell you all the ins and outs, but uh, you will know very, very soon. Um, oh, what have I got? Have you heard? Everlet. Annie, what are you talking about? Everlet. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> um, why is that, that a name that you want? Best kid names. Wolfie, Magic and Roxy. <laughs> They're my children. Um, uh, 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 uh. What is one role you wish you could play? Um, oh, I don't know. I was really obsessed with Joseph in Joseph in the Technical Dreamcoat when I was a kid. I'm sure most of you already know that. So if I was a boy, or if they did like a, you know, gender swap, that would be really cool. Um, but I would love to play... I always wanted to be in Les Mis. Like that's what got me into Les Miserables. That's what got me into musicals. And uh, I've never done that show. And I always... It was a big dream of mine when I was a kid. So I would love to, love to do that. Um, who knows? Not sure if that will happen these days. But um, that was always a dream of mine, to play like Eponine or Fontaine in Les Mis. Oh, we've got some more questions on the go. Have you watched Grey's Anatomy? Yes, it's excellent. Um, what kind of music is Seven going to make? Oh. I can't possibly say. Um, oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Rock pop is my thing. My dad was in a, a rock band, so I grew up listening to... Well, my favourite band is Aerosmith. Um, so I grew up listening to rock music. Love rock music. Um, yeah, I've always had a big love of that kind of genre. Um, anything with a growl in it, you know, and a rasp. No, my battery, my battery's low. Yeah, so um, I loved singing Fighter. It was awesome. It was so cool. I don't know why I'm doing this weird song. Um, would you ever do I'm a Celebrity? Well, I'm not a celebrity, so I don't think they'd ask me. But... Um, no, it scares me. And you know what? What scares me the most? There's so many things that scare me about it. Eating things. Eating bugs and things and whatever else they eat. But, um, what else? Just, I think I would be... This sounds bad, doesn't it? But anything where you have to kind of... Be yourself in the public. I mean, I know I'm doing that right now, but this is different because this is something I know. Like, I know theatre. Um, I know most of you on this live. Um, you know, I feel really comfortable just being myself. Whereas I think sometimes if I was on, like, a TV show with a lot of big personalities, like, even though I'm not, I'm not shy, I would be quite introverted, I think. Um... And probably really boring telly, because if if you, if I'm in a big group with loads of big personalities, I tend to just sit back and like let them take over. Um, whereas obviously, if you know me, I'm not like that. But I think it, that would I'd be really boring. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'd be really dull TV for everyone involved. Um, and I was saying to someone the other day about I'm a celebrity. I don't know if this is a thing, but. I don't love bugs, don't get me wrong, and spiders and things like that. I'm not like, oh, I want to have a spider as a pet. But sometimes I think, I know it's a bug, but it's still a life. And you know when people are, like, crawling through things and they're, like, probably treading on insects and stuff? I can't even, like, if I tread on a, if I accidentally, like, like you know, if you step on a snail or something because you can't see it, I feel terrible. I just think, and like, I'll always like, if there's a fly, a fly in the house, I'll make sure I get the fly out of the house because I just feel like, no, I don't want it to live its life in my house. I want it to live its life like out in the wild. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I don't know. I feel a bit, I'd feel a bit weird, I think, about accidentally crushing a spider or... And it, when you're scared and they're, you know, they're in, like, tunnels or whatever they're doing, I feel like they must accidentally kill a lot of insects and I think that's really sad. It's a life, guys. It's a life. Um, what was your favourite song in the reunion? I loved Queen because I love the message of Queen. I was listening to it last week, actually. Um, and, yeah, it's just such a... It was Natalie Paris's arrangement. She's an absolute legend. Um, she did such a good job on it. It sounded beautiful. And it was just, yeah, it's a real joy to sing. But I also love Salute because I feel like it was proper girl band vibes and I love a routine, don't I? I love a dance routine. So I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was fantastic. Um, what's this? What's one thing that wouldn't even do? Does that mean what's one thing that I wouldn't do? That I wouldn't even do for a hundred thousand pound. Oh, so many things, so many things. Um, I can't think right now. I don't like the water. I really don't like deep water. And I'm quite. I can get over things really quickly, but. And just be like, oh, don't be silly, Amy, and just do it. Like, I do loads of things in life that scare me because I think it's important to do things that scare you because then you, like, grow and you become, you know, a better person and all those things. But water, something about it. Like, deep water. So I don't think I could do anything where I have to, like, dive off a boat or... Oh, I mean, if you said, you know, you're going to die if you don't dive off this boat, then obviously I would do it, but I wouldn't do it for money. Money is never worth it, guys. Um, got a bit of a headache. Uh, well, that might be it with the questions. Oh, what is it? What's this? <laughs> What's your favourite crisp flavour or snack? My favourite crisp flavour is cheese and onion. <laughs> or, actually, Gribby gets these um, truffle crisps. don't know if you've ever, ever had a truffle crisp. It's a bit bougie. Um, but... They're absolutely sensational. Helen gets them too. They're really good. Um, two questions left, I think. Will you be doing any more dance classes? Never say never. I loved the dance classes. I loved doing them. Um, so, possible. So you were that one kid at school who buried dead bees? No, but do you know what happened? This is really sad. So I was running. <laughs> I was running on the track at school. This is primary school, so I'm like seven. What are you eating? Seven or eight. I'm running. I'm like <sighs> having a, a great old time. Ow. And a bee flew into my mouth and stung me in the mouth. And, well, it was very painful, obviously. But the saddest, the worst thing wasn't the pain. It was that the bee probably died. I was really, really sad about that. Um, if I had found the bee, yes, I probably would have buried it. <laughs> I just spoke to Faith Allen, actually. Did she give me any words of wisdom? Um. <laughs> no, I can't tell you that bit. Um, she's very colourful, my mother, with her language. Um, yeah, I can't tell you that. But um, any more words of wisdom? No, her main ones are, which we know, it'll be all right in the end, and if it's not all right, it's not the end, which is a classic, Faith Allen. Um, but the other one is, don't shake hands with the devil. Which is very useful because I used to be like, I probably still am a little bit, but um, I used to worry about things a lot. And my mum would be like, oh, Amy, don't shake hands with the devil yet. You don't have to think about that. Um, that sort of thing. 
And it kind of means like, why worry about it? Because it's not, it's not helpful. Just be a bit more present, I guess, because worrying isn't ever going to do anything. You know, you might, you might as well worry about it when it's like there. Do you know what I mean? Like when the thing is there, whatever it is, um, then you can worry about it. But worrying about it five days before you're going to do the thing is pointless. Um, so I, I, I use that a lot. I think about that a lot. Um, uh, yeah, all the time. I think I've become much better at it. I'm much better at being like, just go with the flow and, you know, just... Anyway, yeah, so that's a really good one. What else does she say? Don't shake hands with the devil. And there's another one that's really similar. <laughs> it's all around the same thing. I have to say, I mean, obviously, love my mum. She's amazing. But sometimes I don't want a quote. I want some actual advice. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, mum, I don't know what to do because this is happening and this is happening. She's like, Amy, don't shake hands with the devil yet. I'm like, mum, just want some advice. <laughs> so, I mean, she's amazing, but... Faith Allen quotes. Faith Allen quotes. No, I wish I'd seen Pretty Woman on Broadway. I was um, in New York uh, not long after I left six. And it wasn't on anymore. Otherwise, of course, 100% I would have gone to see it. Um, I would have loved to have seen it. It would have been amazing. Um, but I did see. I went to see Hades Town, And I went to see Tootsie. And I went to see The Inheritance. And I also went to see Moulin Rouge. So I saw some great things. <laughs> Listen, what you've got to know about cats is they do love you. They just don't, you know, show you like dogs show you. My cat Milo, God rest his soul, um, was very independent. And then when he got older, he was like the most affectionate thing. So with age, your cat will become more affectionate. Um, but they just, they're just doing their own thing. You know, they're just chilling. They're out doing what they're doing. Um, yeah, I love cats. What was the first show you saw? It was Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat. And I don't know, I think I went with my friend Natalie on a bus from Stevenage. And we saw Darren Day. And I was obsessed. I wanted to be Joseph. Mm. But the, oh, and we saw Summer Holiday. So it's Joseph and Summer Holiday that I saw when I was quite young. But then when I was older, I think for my 16th birthday, my mum took me to see Phantom of the Opera with my friend Grace. And I, you know, it opens and they have like this whole auction scene and then the, the curtains fly back and it's like... Dun, 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 And I remember just being like... <laughs> like crying, even like thinking about it now, I feel emotional because it just was so, um, so beautiful and so like the energy and the it was the music and it's amazing uh, i went to see it recently with my friend josh pitterman who was playing the phantom i'm so glad i got to see it again before the pandemic and before and i got to see him in it you know he was sensational and i took my mom and it was amazing it was i just love that show um right one more question one more question because i'm hungry and i want my dinner um, <laughs> would I consider doing the Eurovision? You know I'm obsessed with Eurovision. I, I love the Eurovision. I want to represent the UK so bad. Um, yeah, that would be like awesome. Who chose the, from Isla? Okay. Who chose the name Seven? Did you have any other names? Yes. Lots and lots and lots of names. Um, but I think Seven, you know, says what it is on the tin. Um, it's a cool name. And the number Seven has so many amazing, um, like, spiritual meanings. It's a very lucky number. Um... So that's also really, really good. 
All right, go on then. I'll do one more question. Oh, I know Jessie's left, Little Mix. I know, it's so sad. I did watch her documentary. It was very, very good, very insightful. And, you know, just... Listen, I love social media. This is amazing that we can do this. It's so cool. Um, and it has so many amazing... Um, you know, it's a great way of connecting with people, and that's beautiful. But it's also very a very scary place. And I think I didn't grow up with social media. I didn't have it. Um, you know, even when I first started in my career, I did the show and I went home, you know. Like, no one, there wasn't anyone messaging me online saying, great show or bad show or whatever it is. Um, I never had that. Um and I just think, like, school and, and your early years, your teenage years, are so hard anyway. You're going through so many different emotions and all sorts of things are happening. And then to have social media on top of that, as amazing as it is, must be... It's just a whole... It's a whole new world. Um, and it can be a dangerous place. I think it's best to... Not... I need to do this to my, for myself as well. But to not live your whole life on social media, like, I mean, I know it's difficult right now because of everything that's happening. So we are more online. Oh, my gosh, I did that screen time thing the other day where you see how long you've been on your phone for. And I can't even repeat it because it's so embarrassing. Um, like, I'm constantly on my phone. Um, but when we can go back out and you can see your friends and you can, you know, we can go back out in the world, go out. Maybe just go on your phone I don't know, in the morning and then at night for like half an hour and then go out and, and live your life um, and, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy the real life because this is all a bit of a mirage, you know, as in you only see the good from people. You don't see the, well, I mean, it's getting better, but you don't see the pain that people are going through um, as much. Um, <laughs> I was literally just going to ask how the screen time, the screen time is, oh, you know. <gasps> I know, I've told you every night, it's terrible. It might have got better, to be fair. It might have got slightly better because work has eased off a bit. Um, but I've got a problem. I've got a serious problem with my phone. I try to do the whole thing, but I've just told you guys, get up, do, you know, do my emails, do all that sort of stuff, do a bit of social media, and then, you know, live my life. And then at the end of the day, again, do my emails, do my social media, etc. But I think it's so hard, especially with what's going on. And also, you know, I'm working, so I'm on my phone emailing, and, and then I'm like, oh, I'll just, just check a bit of Instagram, see what's happening. Oh, I'll just check my Twitter. Um, and then I get sucked in. I get sucked in. Um... So, yeah. Yes, I have seen Six of the Lyric. It was fantastic. I, I loved it. I had the best time. Um, I just said to my mum, actually, if it opens, when it opens again, I'm going to take my mum because she loves it. And my mum doesn't like anything. I think I've told a lot of you before, but my mum... <laughs> you know, she lives her life in quotes. Or she just doesn't say anything at all. So sometimes when she's come to see a show that I'm in and she obviously doesn't like it or she doesn't think it's any good, she just doesn't say anything at all. So it's like so obvious that she's like, that was a bad show. And, um, you know, I've had a, a, an illustrious career, um, but I've done a lot of, um, well, I've had a fantastic time, but some might say some interesting shows. Do you know what I mean? Um, so she's never, she just doesn't say anything. And I've told this story before. My favourite one is when I was doing, I won't say the show because it's rude, isn't it? But I was doing a show. I was having a lovely time. Always have a good time. Um, and it was at Bournemouth Pier. So Bournemouth Pier on like the hottest day of summer. So hot that we couldn't dance because our, we were wearing like Latin shoes. Our shoes were sticking to the floor so you couldn't turn or anything it was just an absolute nightmare and so picture that Bournemouth pier end of the pier hot hot day um 
I look out in the audience, there's my mum and four other people, four other people, like there's no one there. Um, and so I come out afterwards, I'm the lead in this show by the way as well, I'm like leading the show. I come out, I'm sweating, you know, my mum was in so I was trying to do a good job, you know, I was really going for it. And I meet her at the stage door, I do this because it was just a door, really. Um, and um, we walked the breadth of the pier, from the, which is long, to the beach, all the way back to her car. She never said one word about the show. To this day, she's never said anything about it. It's like it didn't exist. It didn't happen. It was that bad, apparently. It didn't happen. So um, when I was doing six... And I came out and I was like, oh, what's, what's Faith Allen going to say? She was like, it's very good. Very good. Um, she brought all their friends along, didn't she? She came like six or seven times. Um, so anyway, again, I've been rambling on, but I'm going to take my mum to see six. But guys, listen, girl power happening tomorrow. It would have started by now. I mean, you can, don't have to watch it at eight o'clock. What are you doing? I'm trying to break out. Um... You don't have to watch it at 8 o'clock, but you can start streaming in it, streaming it at 8. Um, I will probably watch I think... I'll try and watch it at 8. I'm not sure if I can. But um, I'm going to be watching it, obviously, tomorrow night. I want to see it when everyone else is watching it. Um, but, yeah, come along. Enjoy it. Just, yeah, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of this one and all the shows, but obviously I'm, I'm in this show and I'm so proud of what me and the girls have done. And yeah, we're just looking forward to, for you to see it. Um, let me know what you think, message me, um, and obviously keep spreading the word of Thespi. Um, there's some amazing things coming up, um, which you will find out very soon. We've got lots of amazing, exciting things happening and, uh, yeah, we're really excited to, just to share some amazing work and some incredibly talented people with you all. Um, yes, I'm very excited about tomorrow. It feels a little bit like Christmas. You know when you've got that feeling when you go to bed, and you're like, ooh, you wake up and it's exciting. Um, yeah, so enjoy the show. Thank you for joining me on the live. Um, if you have any more questions, put them in the little question box in the story and I will do my best to answer them um, if you haven't got your ticket yet don't know what to say to you you're missing out don't miss out life's too short watch the show <laughs> love you all